back at you again with another helpful video for your viewing pleasure. That's right. Pleasure. <clears throat> that felt good. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be talking about color grading in iMovie. Now, I know you guys have noticed that I haven't uploaded any iMovie tutorials in quite some time. I'm here to say your boy is back to posting on a weekly basis. So I'll be uploading videos every Thursday or Friday of the week, usually at noon. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when those videos do upload. I also would like to mention that I've recently uploaded a new playlist to my channel called How to Improve Your Overall Video Quality. If you're interested in that and want to see what all the fuss is about, click the link above and make sure you check that out. If you enjoy the video, pimp slap that like button and leave a comment below and you already know your boy will get back to you as soon as possible. So in that quick clip you seen at the beginning of this video was some b-roll footage I filmed a couple days ago while I was at the local park. And what I have here are two shots from that entire clip that I want to do some color grading on. These two clips are time lapse. I slowed them down 85%. Um, both, of the, both of the clips are exactly the same. We're going to edit and color grade the first clip. And the second one is just to show you where we came from. You know, you always got to look back and check on where you came from, baby. Stay humble. Okay, so here is color balance. This is what I like to do at the beginning of the color grading process. You can always click auto or the magic wand and iMovie will do some color correction for you. If that is something that you enjoy and it works for your story and your video, if it's cool with you, it is cool with me, playa. So no need to fuss. Here is the color match. So you can match a clip with another clip. So the current clip will match the color of another clip that may already be edited or just the color and the grading that you have already edited on a different video and you want to match it to this one. Now here is the white balance. You can automatically balance your current clip by clicking on white in that clip and it will automatically correct it for you. Now here is just pretty much the skin tone, very similar to the white balance. And we don't have any skin tones in here, but just want to show you the example. Now we're going to go to the color correction selection and it doesn't have a lot of choices compared to Final Cut Pro or any other editing software, but this is what the color grading and color correction looks like for iMovie. This here will allow you to adjust the temperatures to make your video warm or cooler. This will adjust the saturation to change the color. This will adjust the highlights, brighter or darker. This one here will adjust the contrast. You can increase the darkness and lightness. This will adjust the overall lightness and darkness of your video. This will also do the contrast darker or lighter. And this will adjust the shadows of your shot. So let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. You'll notice that it's pretty flat, not a lot of color, but it gives us a lot to work with when doing color grading compared to a, a clip that already has some color. So what I want to do is I want to make the shadows a little darker uh, to bring out more of gives it a little bit more of a sharpness to it for me. Um, you'll notice over here in the greenery, uh, the trees and stuff like that, and it brings it out. So then I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower the highlights. Um, I'm looking more at the shadows here. Um, well, the highlights, but the shadows within uh, the clouds or the detail within the clouds. Um, if we knock the highlights up, um, it's going to just kind of blind us and knock, knock all of the detail out. So just want to lower the highlights there. And now I'm going to kind of play with the overall exposure. Uh, let's see. Well, let's go back to the contrast. Let's make it a little darker here, kind of play with it. Um, finagle the overall exposure or what we like to call the brightness and darkness. Um, mess with this here, kind of bring out, yeah, it's looking a little better. All right. 
play with that and get some of the saturation over here um, I think an important uh, thing to mention again is of course everyone's project in uh, color grading isn't going to look the same so some people may like their stuff a little darker some people may like their stuff a little brighter um, the important thing to remember and realize is that everyone pro everyone's projects is different um, and my choices and my selections and what I like may be different from yours. And I think that's what definitely makes everyone's videos unique. Um, so definitely do what's best for you. This is kind of just giving you an idea on how to play with the color correction and stuff like that. Um, I think that's also another important tip is to kind of play with, uh, the little gadgets here to, um, really see what works best for your video and or maybe what works best for a shot and if that works best for that shot it may work best for your entire project so at that point you can do um, a, a, a shot match and match this shot with another shot so it can pretty much be the color grading of your entire project instead of just this clip now also what I wanted to show you here is some other filters that you could do after you complete your color grading so pretty much knocked out um, the color grading pretty quickly didn't want to waste too much of your time so this is kind of what it looks like um, the before and after so boom you see the flat and you see where we came from um, and this is where we are now not bad well, that is a wrap, guys. I do appreciate you checking out the video today. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and your boy will get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video and you learned something new today, pimp slap that like button really, really hard, and definitely make sure you check out the next video uploaded next week. I do appreciate you guys again. appreciate all the support um, in the road to 2,000 subscribers. Till next time, your boy is out.